So, so you take yourself out of the picture as a leader. Now you can relinquish that leadership back again, but during the protection, you tell the dog, go ahead, Lieutenant, go kick ass. Tactically, over there, there's enemy. And they go on their own and they do their best to do it. Okay? You don't go and micromanage that shit, what they do over there. So that's why you are not bringing her by demanding obedience uh, during the protection that much. And, and again, that goes back to my philosophy. Uh, people who train protections, are, don't let her circle like that. So that's crazy. Man. It drives me crazy. Uh, uh, people who, who train protection, they put too much control on the dog during the protection and they're shutting the dog down, right? Okay. In other words, dog has a, here's a hundred percent potential of the dog doing protection. It's somewhere in this genetics. We really don't know where it is. We can guess, but we really don't know. And what we're doing when we train the dog, we're bringing our training as close to that genetic potential as much as we can. And every time you're putting the obedience during the protection and control work during the protection of the dog, you're lowering down the potential or ability to come to the potential. Right? And I want the dog to be having as close to 100% as of the potential as we can. And then when we get there, we develop that default. When I say Pozor or Dersh, the dog is up there almost 100% because we never can get to 100, right? We always fuck up somewhere. And, uh, and, uh, and, and, and the dog hears Pozor or Dersh, and he goes, boom, 200%. Now we can start doing some control work, okay? But you know what? As the people with guns says, my control work is how to aim the gun, right, correctly. And that's all I want. You can always get the dog off and put him in the car. Control work during protection is only feel good shit which they do in sport in order to show how good trainers they are. There is a purpose for that. But when you're on the street, I don't give a fuck if the control the dog. Once I say the dog go, goes and then I pry him off and put him away. That's how I do it. That's reality. And you know what? If you look at cops, when they do protection training, they, they're overwhelmed with control work and shit, some of them. But then I've never seen a cop, you know, start doing obedience, you know, sit, heal, come, you know, and walk. No, they fucking lift the dog off the bad guy and put the dog in the car. So why don't you just train that? That's it. That's how I look at it. Anyway. <laughs> control work on working dog is only as a PR so you can show to people some, you know, who will. Uh, it, 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 that you are in control of the dog, so to speak. But, uh, you remember that movie uh, Black Hawk Down, right? And the, uh, the, the the special forces guy comes to the eat the chow, right? And there's this general or colonel or whoever says, you have a safety off. You know, you don't have a control with your gun. And the, and the, and the special forces guy says, this is my control. So same thing here. Right? Now if you want to do control, that's fine, but for purposes of the personal protection, that's detrimental to build the drive 100%. Remember that.